It might surprise you to know that the biggest single cost in consumable materials in most knife maker shops is not steel. It's this stuff, abrasives. Everybody knows what sandpaper is, right? It consists of an abrasive material bound to a single piece of paper. The abrasive material comes in tiny grains resembling sand. The size of these grains is measured in what are known as grit sizes. The larger the number, the smaller the size of the grain. The way it works is by cutting teeny weeny little scratches into the material that's being sanded down. The smaller the grit, the smaller the scratches, the smaller the scratches, the smoother the surface. Broadly speaking, sandpaper can be divided into two categories. Normal sandpaper, intended primarily for use with soft materials like wood, plaster, plastic, and paint, and wet or dry sandpaper, which is primarily used for metals. Different countries have different grit standards, but in the U.S., normal sandpaper is commonly available from around 40 grit to about 400 grit. Wet or dry uses a fast-cutting black abrasive material called silicon carbide. As the name implies, wet or dry benefits from being lubricated. Wet or dry sandpapers are typically found in higher grit sizes than standard sandpaper, with grit sizes running way on up to 2500 grit, a grit so small you need a microscope to see the individual grains. Sandpaper wears out in a variety of ways. First, the abrasive grains break down, meaning that their hard, pointy edges start wearing away, so they cut slower. There's not much you can do about this. But, sandpaper also loads up, meaning that bits of the material that you're sanding can build up between the grains, causing the abrasives to sort of skate across the material. So when you're sanding metal, you'll increase the longevity and aggressiveness of your sandpaper by using wet or dry sandpaper and giving it a squirt of lubricant such as WD-40 or 3-in-1 oil. Sometimes materials will form little clumps on the sandpaper. This is known as corning. It happens particularly with gummy materials like varnishes and other wood finishes. So, when using wet or dry sandpaper with a soft material, try water or even water with a dash of liquid soap like dishwashing soap. This will dramatically increase the longevity of your sandpaper. The main purpose of sandpaper is to give material a smooth, pleasing appearance. Start with a grit heavy enough to remove the scratches made by whatever tool you use to shape the part. Then move up through the grit sizes to whatever your target finish is. If you want a matte finish, 400 to 600 grit will be plenty. If you want a brighter, shinier finish, you may want to go up to somewhere between 1000 and 2500. The key to the proper use of sandpaper is to get rid of every single scratch from the previous grit before you move from one grit to the next. So when you use sandpaper, you want to work the sandpaper in one direction, creating scratches that all run parallel to each other. Then, when you switch to a higher grit, you want to change to a new angle. This process exposes the previous scratches. This is really important. If you change grits and then just keep scrubbing away in the same direction, you'll frequently hide big old scratches from the previous grit size, and then you won't find out how bad you goofed up until you do a lot more work. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my website, waltonsoilblade.com, where you'll find a more comprehensive and complete version of all these cool videos that I've posted here on YouTube. Thank <laughs> you.